little guy. Call time is 5.30 today, and it looks like we're gonna be outside in the rain, maybe the last couple scenes of the day. They started, I think, at 10.30 or 10 or close to, maybe 11, I think it was 10. So plus, so 10, usually it's, typically it's a 12 hour camera day. This is a TV show, so that's uh, typical of TV shows. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, depending on the budget, but usually it's a 12 hour camera day. So today, oh shoot, I forgot to shave. Ah, oh, I feel so foolish. Ah, uh, whatever, it'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, 12 hour camera day, so if they started at 10, usually they do half an hour lunch, sometimes they do an hour lunch. <laughs> So say it's half an hour lunch, so 12 hour camera day plus half an hour for lunch because that's not counted in the camera day for 12 hours, so it's 12 and a half hours after 10, which would be about 10.30 wrap time. This might be the last day of their week, so usually the last day of the week they work a little bit longer. So if we start at 10, uh, say we do an hour lunch that's wrapped at 11, and if they go an hour or two, to double time, then that would be 12 or one o'clock. That's one quick way of guesstimating how long a day is gonna be. Um, Fringe, for example, they typically shot over 18 hours um, for the day on their Fridays. So on their Fridays, what I mean is if they started on, started on Tuesday, they, well, there's my agent. I think I'm late. I feel like such an idiot. Ugh, I'm so annoyed at being late. For some reason I thought my call time was 5.30. I think it's five o'clock, my call time. I'm 10 minutes late, I think, or, dang, 15 minutes late. That's annoying. What a jerk. Okay. Well, hopefully this traffic picks up a little bit better, faster. And I get to set on time. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, 12 hour camera days. Yeah, so usually you count 12 hours plus like an hour lunch. And then French, for example, they went into 18 hours. So if you started at nine o'clock, you're going till nine for 12 hours plus six more hours. So you're into 3 a.m. plus an hour for lunch or half an hour, you're at 3.30 or 4 a.m. Um, and that was pretty typical for our fringe, is to work uh, 14 to 18 hour days for their Friday. So if you start on Monday, your Friday is Friday. If you start on Tuesday, your Friday is Saturday. And that's just how, that's just like the, the lingo that people use. So some people's Friday would be a Wednesday. So that's the last day of the five day work week. Once in a while, productions work six days. It's not very often that they work six days, but it's depending on how much they have to shoot, what they owe. Um, there's a lot of different factors when it comes to working a sixth day. Some productions even work a seventh day. That is very rare, I find. It's typically five hour day, 12 hour, five, five day weeks, five 12 hour day weeks, <laughs> if that makes sense. But that's just for a uh, production that's trying to stay within a budget. Um, Falling Skies, the second season, that was the first season that I worked on in Vancouver. Their, their days for the, for the season that they were in Vancouver, the, for, for their first season in Vancouver, were 16 to 18 hour days, typically. Um, sometimes it was 14 hours, sometimes it was 12 hours, but almost always it was 16 to 18 hours, which, um, it's pretty usual for a high budget TV show, high budget features for sure, um, depending on how much stuff they had to do for, for uh, part of me for Fringe, there was visual effects stuff, there's, uh, yeah, sometimes they had stunts, they always had, almost always had cops, um, yeah, all that kind of thing takes in, is taken into account when budgeting the day and budgeting how many hours you have to work with. Um, 
yeah I'm late I suck at I hate being late I really do hate I detest being late um, I think I've been late three times this four times this year maybe five times which is atypical um, to how I usually am it's something that needs to be fixed and remedied as soon as I can do that next day I work I won't be late and I will have shaven I don't know why I didn't shave I don't know what happened to me I have no idea what was going on in my head didn't shave and am late weird okay well we're only like two minutes away from uh, circus which is all right they're probably freaking out because they want to get me to set I'm sure absolutely sure of it okay I'm gonna turn this off and try well just got home from set I was working as a uniformed cop on a TV show called Motive. I don't really work on that show too often. Once in a while, and I'm all, almost always a cop. Um, what have I done on that show? I've been a cop almost all the time. And I've also been a caterer. Um, yeah, it's funny the things that you do sometimes when you're doing back. Oh, hi, Bambi. Hello. Where you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Go, go, go. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, go. Good boy. <laughs> he gets so shy. He gets so shy. Oh, yes. I've been craving grapefruit juice all day. I love grapefruit juice. Oh, that tastes so good. It's just freaking expensive. Okay. Tomorrow, it's uh, 24 hours of skiing and snowboarding up at Whit or up at Grouse. I really want to go to it, but oh, well, what are you doing? Oh, thank you. <laughs> he gets so excited sometimes. Um, I really want to go to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a chance to. Hopefully tomorrow, me and Yolanda, we go to the organic market in the morning. Um, she's at her friend Nikki's house, I think, tonight. So it might work out that I go in the morning, pick her up, and then we go to the organic market, come back. I don't know, I make all these plans, and then it's usually like half of them that come true. Um, but anyways, that'd be fun. And then I can go snowboarding. Maybe Sam will go, and then we can spend a bunch of time there. I don't know if it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, if it's going to be clear, I think I would rather go at night. It might be lots of fun. Um, but I don't know. It'd be nice to go snowboarding. My friend Marco, who I kind of grew up with um, a long time ago, we all lived in this in this uh, French uh, complex, housing complex in Vancouver. <coughs> and my childhood best friend lived there with their family. And uh, Marco was there and a few other people. People who I don't think I will ever forget. Um, but yeah. I think that's what my plan is for tomorrow. I met this guy on set named... Uh, dang. Can't even remember his name right now. It's not Connor. Ballard. Joel. And yeah, he was pretty funny. It ends up that his mom was a hair and makeup lady for a play that another friend of mine um, was in called Adam's Family and they just had the award show for all that and she won an award for that um, anyways so I don't know it's just it's funny when you meet people on set some people you're like oh my goodness I can't listen to another word that they say some people you just you can talk about like not superficial stuff but kind of important things politics and finance or whatever and then some people you could just make jokes and just like riff off each other and just joke after joke after joke after joke and just laugh and I don't know, and make the situation tons and tons of fun, which I have a couple friends, uh, my friend, my friend Connor, and my friend Chris, and who else, Connor, Chris, I guess this guy Joel, um, my sister Yolanda, we can make jokes a lot, and just go and go and go, oh, hey, Bams, hello, oh, okay, he wants me to scratch his neck, hey, you, I had to shave with a razor, which I very rarely do, and I dislike doing. 
And they had to put makeup on my face because I have a few blemishes. Hi. How was that? How's your food? Hello. Hey, man. Hi, mister. Hi, man. Oh. He'll just look at my hand or he'll do that with his paw. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How's that? How's that? It's very demanding when he wants affection. At least he, he's intelligent enough to demand affection. And then when he wants you to leave, you alone, leave him alone, he just runs away. Hey. Oh, okay, okay. Or he wants this. <laughs> hey, go, 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 go. Hey, where you going? Go, 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 go. Oh, good boy. Hey, you. He almost never bites. And he used to kind of like when kids would go to reach to touch him and pet him, he'd like show his teeth a little bit. But he very, very, he very, very, he very rarely bites, um, if at all. I think he's only kind of nibbed, nibbled at two people, and it's not very hard. Um, I put him in my sister's lap a couple nights ago when we were at our hotel room. And he showed his teeth quite a bit, and then she was holding him, and then he stopped showing his teeth. But for some reason, he doesn't like being held at all by strangers, which is cool, whatever. Some animals are like that. But, yeah, I'm not sure what else to talk about. I'm just, like, high energy right now because of working on set and having a lot of fun today. Oh, there you go. Hey, come here. Ben, let's come here. And then he'll just sit. Hey, you. Bambi, come here. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Beanie. Okay, I'm going to spend some time playing with my dog. And, yeah, it's so rainy here that I can't go skateboarding. I can't, like, I don't know. I can't do all these fun stuff that I want to do, all this fun stuff that I want to do because it's always wet out. And that's, like, definitely not the environment you want to be skateboarding in. Um, mostly because I don't want the bearings to get wrecked and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, hopefully it's dry out soon because I want to really go skate or do something on the seawall. The seawall is tons of fun. Um, yeah. Okay. Love life and good night.